family. So we're here again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who is my special guest, you ask? What is your name, ma'am? Kiki. <laughs> you got something in your mouth. Mm -mm. It's a bottle, lady, ain't it? Up in your mouth. <laughs> we got our Pepsi, though. I do. Do you? No, because I drank it all. <laughs> I'm talking to them. They need to have Pepsi, too. Oh, they about to spill some tea. Not tea. Some Pepsi. Mom, you have a problem. Duh. I don't know. This is how me and my baby banter. Okay. So I just did a video about psychological abuse. So now we're going to do a video about what now? Emotional abuse. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so seriously, these videos are important for younger people to hear and uh, for the simple fact that I know a lot of y'all go through this. Y'all in relationships to this moment to where you go through at least one of these. And there's some people who is in relationships that go through all of these. Okay? It's important for you to be aware of this. You don't want to keep ignoring this. Because better believe your kids know it's happening too. Right? Right. And she's here because she's like a mini adult. I'm willing to, seriously though, I challenge y'all. I challenge at least one of y'all. She's smarter than one of y'all. And I'm willing to put money on it. Anyway, so we're going to, I'm gonna let her read off what I wrote and I give the explanations, okay? So what's number one? Attacking your self. Self-worth. Self-worth. Yeah. A lot of people don't acknowledge their self-worth. Um, and then there's some of y'all who are trying to lie to yourself to make it a little better. But, um, they may, basically, they make you feel like you're not worth a damn thing. And I mean a damn thing. You eventually believe you're you're nothing. There's no reason for you. That's what you eventually start feeling like. What's number two? Calling you names and embarrassing you or criticizing you. Now that means we could be in public. We could be chilling. Let's say I accidentally was sitting there. We talking and I accidentally knocked my my Pepsi on the floor <laughs> on the floor and it spills everywhere right and let's say my spouse jumps up and like you're so fucking stupid you ain't here to F work you're it. so well then I seen what you did earlier no you didn't I didn't hear it okay so um they're like you're so stupid why are you always doing stuff like this? <sighs> and then walk away from you, basically. And then you have everybody else sitting there looking at you like. Tell me that's not like embarrassing you. Or you're out at the mall, y'all walking or whatever. And your girl turned to you like, why the hell you got these gray sweatpants on? but really loud. Or why you gotta look like that, yo? That type of thing? That's what they're criticizing, the embarrassing, the... Oh, 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 hold on. That's also calling your names when they say you so effing stupid. That was like me mixing them together. It's messed up. Now let's go 
to number three. Acting jealous, possessive, and accusing you of being with other people. I know a bunch of people that deal with this. Okay. Your spouse don't want you to be around nobody else. And if you are, it's a problem. A big problem. Okay? Who you on the phone with? Why you on the phone with this person? Where you going? Oh, oh, you messed with that person before? That's exactly what that... All right, what's the number four? In order in order to punish you, not acknowledgement. Meaning, if you did number three and you came home, right? You come to speak to me, I ignore you. You try to tell me what you did, I ignore you. I, some people call it as the cold shoulder. But it goes deeper than that. I go to work the following day. I come home. You got the house spotless. Every every piece of clothing in the house is clean. Except for what I have on. Okay? You done iron. You put all this shit away. You got food ready. You know. All of that. I don't say thank you when you bring me my hot plate of food. And then... When I take my work clothes off, I yell at you and say, why you leave these dirty clothes in here? That's exactly what that means. Number five. Cheating on you intentionally. I know what this means. You think you know what this means? Yes. Okay. Cheating on you intentionally means... Get your soda because she's telling you what it means. It means... Whenever you maybe did three, and what was three? Three was acting jealous, possessive, and accusing you of being with someone else. So say if. Whoa! Go ahead. Go ahead. So say if mom, my mommy, was. The person that was being accused of being, um, you know what I mean, and um, and uh, and your spouse decides to cheat on you purposely because you know they know that it's going to get you upset. She just knew the meaning. to talk about how you knew that. I know what intentionally means. I know what cheating means. Yeah. This is why I say she's smarter than somebody out here. She's sometimes smarter than me. She knew what it meant. So as my daughter just told y'all, as she said, she said, if you do number three, Basically, the partner is accusing you all the time that you're being with somebody else. They purposely go out and cheat with somebody and then will come home and tell you, oh, well, I cheated on you to make you feel some type of way. <laughs> I'm so proud. Even though you like, I don't know how you knew that. All right, what is... Oh, we're on six? Yep. Okay. What's six? Lying to you. I know this one too. Okay, ma'am. So, say if you see your boo or what, your spouse walking, like, talking to another girl and getting close and doing all the coupley things, and, and you go up to them and say, Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I was not with any girl. I was just shopping or something like that. 
than that one. You could use that example. You could also use, I didn't touch your phone. I didn't go through this. I didn't be out with this girl like she just said, or this dude like she just said. I, um, the sky is orange. Like all types of dumb shit lying to you for no reason. What does that conclude? That means that you are in an emotional abusive relationship. Say that a little louder so they can hear you. That means that you're in an emotional abusive relationship and you need to leave your, your spouse or else you gonna regret it. You're my baby. Ooh, your bone popped. Okay, so again, the point of me having her, this beauty right here in the video was because I wanted her to hear the examples of this on top of the fact that I want her to know early that this is things you need to be aware of before you settle in with a person. Granted, there are people out here that will fake the funk all the way up until the day y'all get married. The following day, they somebody completely different. It is very, 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 very possible. I've seen this. I've seen this. I've witnessed this with my own two eyeballs. Okay? It happens. She really knew what the the what stuff meant. Like that's crazy. Did you know what number one was and stuff before I I even um read the or gave examples about Yeah. Seriously? Hey, one, the attacking your self-worth. You um think that you're like pointless because of what your spouse is saying to you. Two, calling you names, embarrassing you, or criticizing you. If you spill like your tea. <laughs> if you spill your it's tea. spill Pepsi. If you spill your tea. Pepsi. <laughs> It goes everywhere and stuff. And they say, why did you do that? You're always doing this type of stuff in public. Or something like that. Or calling you stupid. Yeah. that's Telling you ugly. Yeah. And. Three. Acting jealous, possessive, and accusing you of being with others. So. It, you're won't be allowed to like go out with um your friends because they're always like asking who you with or what where you going and why you going there and four also you heard the key word in this correct the key word and what she just said was a loud Number four, in order to punish you, to not acknowledge you. So, if I come in with, like, if I come in... You can use a different example than I did, but give them an example of what it meant. If you, like, come in with cake, you don't say anything to that person. You just didn't even look at them. You were just looking at your phone or watching TV and didn't say anything. Yeah, not paying them any type of attention whatsoever. And a lot of people feed off of attention. They want attention. Well, I'm, I'm one of them people who don't want your attention. That's crazy. Um, Number five, cheating on you intentionally. Um, so they are like cheating on you on purpose because you probably like if if you did number three, then they would cheat, like, they would cheat on you and, like, on, perp on purpose, and they would be like, I just cheated on you. And My baby's so smart. Last one. Number six, 
X. Lying to you, I'm sorry. So, they like come up with something stupid. You come up with like something really stupid like, I ain't go through your drawer, I ain't touch your jewelry, I didn't look through your phone. Or let me, let me, let me, let me, let me real quick. Um, did you sip some of my soda? No. That's what she means. She's my boo boo. Mom, you're fine with my soda. It's Pepsi. Get her. Y'all, if y'all ever want to give me a present, give me some soda. Oh my God. So I'm just playing. <laughs> So, what is the six examples of? Um, what are you in? Emotional abusive relationship. Give me some. Mm. That's my boo boo. I'm her boo boo. Always and forever. Always. Always and forever. Each moment with you. Each moment with you. <laughs> keep, keep on saying. It seems like a dream to me. It seems like a dream. I don't remember to all of the me. music. I don't remember all the songs. I mean, all the, the lyrics. <laughs> all right, guys. That was the video, and I literally got like two more, three more, I three. Was, I got three. I was not informed about that. Well, these next ones you're not going to be in. How come? Because, well, you could be in this, the, you could be in this next one. If you enjoyed that video, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, you can subscribe and you get that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. I would greatly appreciate that. You can follow me on my Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I greatly appreciate all y'all support. You subscribe, you get a shout out. Thank you so much. Deuces.